morning guys it is September 11th 2015 it's early in the morning I'm just getting up I got a lot of things I have to do today so I had to get up a little early I'm going to um, today my son has court so I have to go and see what's going on with him and in his case but in the meantime I am marinating me some chicken so that I can have me some jerk chicken tonight so this is my jerk chicken mixture I'm just going to put this back into the refrigerator let it marinate until I come back okay so I finally left the house and I'm currently sitting in the parking lot waiting for court to open up and I'm also waiting to see if my um, mom is coming she usually comes to all of his court dates and unfortunately nothing happens every time we come to court a new date is set and I'm thinking that's going to be the same thing that happens this time so I'm gonna um, get ready to go in because I'm gonna have to stand in line before we get in because they got to check us in and everything and then I'll come back later and let you guys know what happened while we were in court okay so we're done with court and as I said before they're giving him another court date for October but I was able to find out a little bit more information and I'm just going to tell you exactly what happened because you guys are going to be going on this journey with me and yes it, unfortunately it is a journey so what happened a couple of months ago my son was living with my mother oh my goodness the sun is bad but my son was living with my mother and he wasn't doing all the things that she expected of him so she kicked him out about a week later he was supposed to go to school because he was in school for um, to become electrician he was supposed to go to school and he decided that all right I'm sorry we got cut off I had wind up getting a phone call but back to what I was saying is that my mom asked him to leave he was supposed to go to school he didn't go to school he went to go hang out with some friends and in the midst of hanging out with these friends there was a um, a shooting so what they say is is that a car containing four Mexican guys circled around this neighborhood this particular street and that they circled around about three four times and then one of the suspects got out and shot at them so after the shooting the victims flagged down the police and the police dispatched for a brown or tan looking car that had four Mexicans in there that were the, vic the, the suspects. About 10 minutes later, another police car seen my son and his friends in a vehicle that matched the description that was given. So they pulled them over, detained them, brought the victims to the area, and the victims supposedly positively identified those as being the people that were shooting at them now let me tell you this one of the guys that was arrested he is mixed he is Mexican and black my son is black he looks nothing like a Mexican he has no Mexican features whatsoever and if I get a chance I might try and put a picture somewhere in here and let you see but anyway they're saying that my son was the shooter how could that be how could that possibly be because you just said that the people who shot at you were Mexican my son is black the other guy who was arrested is black he's my complexion and then you have the one guy that is actually 
he could pass for Mexican. Had I not seen his family, I would have thought that he was just Mexican, that he was not a mixed child. And then they also said that it was four people in the car, but when my son got arrested, it was only three people. So there's a lot that's going on. I did hear some information that the prosecutors don't have too much evidence. All they have really is the witness statement. And now the witnesses, I mean, I'm sorry, the victim statement. And now the victims are not cooperating. They don't want to come and testify in court. So if they only have circumstantial evidence and they have no hard evidence because they did not find a gun, they did not find any bullets, and they did not find any um, gunshot residue on neither of the guys that they arrested. They didn't find any form of gunshot residue on their clothes, on their hands, or anything. So I'm still at this point, I'm just praying for the best, that everything will work out well, that he also takes this as a life learned lesson because he's being taken away from his children at this time so he needs to get himself together but I'm gonna end that on talking about my son because I do get a kind of emotional about it because I won't say he's my favorite child but that he, he's my buddy and I just I hate to see him in this situation but I'm gonna come back a little bit later on because I'm on my way to my mother's house to let her know because she didn't show up to um, court so I'm going to give her the information that I got and then I'm going to come back later on because I told you that we were going to go to Best Buy because I need to look for that camera. I need to get me a camera because it seems like every single time I'm trying to do a, a vlog or do a video from my phone for one it's not showing as clear as I would like it and then I get phone calls which interrupts me so I'll see you guys in a little bit once I get to Best Buy okay y'all I was on my way to Best Buy but right across the street is a Toys R Us so I came in here because I'm actually looking for another car seat for my grandson I don't really know what kind of car seat to get or if he's old enough for the booster seat because Back when I had kids and I had to um, get car seats and everything, the car seats look completely different. You know, our car seats back in the days, they look like when you go to Six Flags and get on the roller coaster, they had the little over the shoulder arm rest and everything, but these are just completely different. So I'm gonna see how much they cost and hopefully I can get him one because these look big. Look at these. I don't want to get nothing like this. These are some of them. I'm not spending $300 on a car seat because I have already brought him one car seat. I think I really just need to get him a booster seat. But let's see. Is this a booster seat? No, that's a convertible car seat. I'm not spending $179 either. I might have to go to Walmart or the Target and find something because it looks like all of these are car seats and the thing about it is is that both my mom and I we have him so we have to have something that's interchangeable for the both of us and this doesn't look like it's going to work so yeah I'll probably have to get up out of here and go on to go over to um well, $79 isn't bad, but Walmart have one for $29, and I believe it's the same brand. It's just a different color, but let me know if you guys have a um, child that is between 18 months up to maybe three years old, what type of seat do you have for them? Do you still have the um, car seat or are they in a booster seat or what because I have no idea so finally I'm up in the Best Buy so just gonna look at the cameras now again I am in a dilemma because I can get the Sony A5000 I can get that through a program that we have through my job 
to where I would only spend like 20, maybe $25 a paycheck and I wouldn't have to put anything down on it. But I do wanna see what the Canon looks like and see if I can see a difference. So let me see. Okay, now this is the Canon right here. Best Buy has it for $649. So, so we all know that. I wonder if I can get it to come on. Oh, there we go. Look at that. How neat. You can actually see me. It doesn't have a memory card in it. But I like the feel of it. I like how small it is. So I might, ooh, I don't know. Let's see what the Sony looks like. So this is the Sony, this is the A5000. Now this one's a little bigger, but I think you can take the lens off, which is different from the um, Canon. Yeah, that's, I mean, it looks nice. I like the way that one looks too. Look at that. I guess because, oh, there we go. So, I kinda, hmm, I don't know. This one feels a little heavier. And then we have, this is the 5100, which is a little smaller. I'm gonna turn all of these on. And, uh oh. Oh, I don't know. I just, I think with the Sony's, I don't like the lens. Look how big that lens is. But as you can see, I do look pretty clear, and I'm using my phone to film this so I don't know oh this is hard so it's $5.99 for the 5100 which is actually a little smaller than the 5000 then they have this one over here which is a 6000 which is also $5.99 and it has the same flip up screen I don't know. Now this one is like the, the N2. So that one's out of the question. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go. So if anything, I don't like the lens on this one, but if I had to choose between Sony, I would pick the 5100. And this one is 24 megapixels. And let's see. I don't know. I don't like it. I think I like this one. I think I like the Canon better. Yeah. The Canon is just so much smaller. This could actually fit in my hand or if I got a selfie stick. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and... Whew, it's like $60 more but I like this one so much better than the Sony. So I'm gonna do a little bit more walking around, maybe play around with the cameras a little bit. And if I do get one, which it'll probably be the Canon, I'll come back and let you guys know.